What's it say? So you can stop at this. They've got stop request um, buttons. Really? Yeah, this so... This is still open to the public. Evidently. I guess that's why they haven't, like, fenced it off. Oh. I was thinking it's a huge health risk if they haven't fenced it off, but it makes sense if you can still use it. But it's interesting because I think we took uh, the tram at least two or three times up yeah. until now. Then no one has ever stopped the tram here. But I, I kind of feel, I feel a little bit bad for stopping the entire tram just before yeah, myself. Yeah, a little bit. But like, usually people that are here are people that want to hike up. Yeah, true. Or they're here for a particular reason to enjoy this track. I don't think there'll be many people that are deliberately come here. Although, it is a really good way of avoiding the crowds. I mean, think of the line down at the peak stop. Yeah. There you have it. But like, what's going to happen to the ticket? Mm. What do you mean? Because usually for the peak tram, you have to purchase the ticket down. Yeah, well, they've got a ticket thing here, a ticket thing here. So you just uh, use your octopus. Well, yeah, they've got octopus, but they've also got, I think, paper ticket, that looks like. Or maybe you've got to buy a ticket somewhere else, or... I don't think they sell them on the train, do they? I'm not sure. Alright. Alright. Onwards! Up we go. Oh, the wheel's turning. That's a really simple thing, but like... Well, that means, is it coming up or down? I'm not sure. I think it's coming up. No, yeah, it's coming up. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy that? See the rope is gone. Ah! So that's how they work. So it kind of feels like it's just pulling the entire Ah, oh, so do you know how, how I think it works then? And if I put this on YouTube and I'm wrong, we're gonna look like an idiot, but... <laughs> so when it goes up, it collects the rope and when it comes down it drops the yeah, rope yeah. and then uses that rope to pull itself back up so. that is really cool i thought it was just like a general loop mechanism like you know when you get two pieces of you got one piece of the loop mm. and you like put it between your hands and you just rotate it and you mm. can pull it backwards and forwards okay i thought that's how it worked i just realized how the tram works <laughs> after what two three times of going on it Maybe this tram works differently from the tram that you're used to in Melbourne. Yeah, the, the tram in Melbourne is on a, a guideline. Yeah. I'm a genius. Hi, hi, hi. Well, it's a turtle. Cause he's a turtle. Station four. Are you reading the English or the Cantonese? English. How many times more are we going to see the tram coming back and forth? I don't know, I'm still kind of excited every time I see it to be honest. Oh, so right here the rope is going to be dropped. Yeah. Yeah, see? He dropped the rope. We're geniuses. We worked it out. Mystery solved. That is very interesting. Yeah, I'm really impressed. <laughs> but that, that kind of means the whole 
everyone's life really depend on this rope. Yeah, so you don't <laughs> want the rope to snap. <laughs> but like one of the interesting things I find is that, you know, by our technological standard, that's not that, in, like, breakthrough. That's not that much of a breakthrough. Uh -huh. However, if you think about when they laid this down, mm -hmm. first of all, they had to flatten all of this ground up the hill. And then, just do it this way. And then after they flattened all the ground, then they had to fortify it and then lay down the track mm -hmm. and then instigate the rope system. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, when would they have done that? I can't remember. I'll look up the date and we'll say it later. Okay. But still, using technology of then to do it, that is pretty cool. I'm impressed. My wife is impressed. Damn straight. Yep, we're on the right way. Station 7. Oh, this is about the tree. Yeah. I didn't even realize there are different stations. Well, I assume it's so if you get... Like, if you get injured or something, you've got a lamppost to say to people, I'm at Station oh, 7, I'm at... Right. I passed Station 7 before I, you know... That kind of thing. I mean, we are in the middle of the city, so it's not necessarily like... You're out in the wilderness and we've got to come and find you by bush bashing or anything. But it is a good thing to keep note of. That's pretty cool. That's a great shot. Keep going. Have yours first. Thank you. This has got a green trail for a reason. It's like walking in a jungle. That's what the description says. Oh really? Yeah. Spot on. Spot on uh, description. Not really a description. It's like um, a wealthy review written on TripAdvisor. Ah, oh, someone else wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know how well you can read that in the camera. Probably not very well. Alright, shall we press on? Uh-huh. 
Turret Station 9. So a post box near this stop was built in 1910. And it's one of the few pre-Elizabeth post box remaining in Hong Kong. Oh. That's pretty cool. Your mum will like it. Mum's Queen Victoria, not, Eliz not Elizabeth. Back in the jungle. Not to the top yet, and that's what we've got so far. Are we there yet? Nope. nope. That view is getting gorgeous though. <laughs> Up we go. We're well and truly in the jungle now. <laughs> Food's getting sourced. What's scarce? Damn it, I ruined my own joke. Is a man versus wild. Yeah, I was making a man versus wild joke. Station 12. They clearly gave up on maintenance, maintenance for this sign. <laughs> Something about morning glory. That's all I can read in the whole sign, morning glory. Hong Kong. Well done. Well done. Why are you bullying the plants? They have feelings too, you know. Station 13. Woodland Ecology. Getting up, mm -hmm. moving on up, moving on up. You know that song? Nope. Show off. I'm wearing jeans, otherwise I'd run after him. I think we're close to the top, actually. Yeah, I think we're close to the top. Mm. Cool. Station 14, finish point. We did it. Yes. Wow, this was launched back in 1995. The trail? Mm. Cool. This is a really good trail. It's really fun. Yeah, it was. Where are we? Uh, Victoria Hospital for Women and Children. Right. Queen Victoria. Uh, 1897? That yeah. makes sense, she died in the 1910s. 19, no. 1901 she died, I think. Sorry, Mum, I should know that. There we have it. Victoria Hospital. With a giant tree. So where is the actual peak lookout? Hmm. Let's have a look at the view. Great view. Quiet. It takes you a long time to get to work though. Not a problem if you have a car. Yeah, if you have a car. I mean, driving down would be fine, but then you got to dr drive back up every night after work. Oh, look at those places. They all have like a rooftop kind of places to chill. Rooftop gardens? Oh, that, you mean that green building, yeah? No, 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 those just right in front oh, of right us. Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh, they got like little terrace kind of things. Yeah. Cool. 
That would be cool. I would be willing to live there if I got a little terrace. I mean, you have all that view to yeah. yourself. During New Year, with yeah. like the fireworks and stuff. I imagine they're like expensive. It will be. That's so nice there. Alright. And this house is even up that way. Jesus. Okay, onwards. Deep on pop. Looks like we're back on the green trail. <laughs> this is what find find lay park or some, path or something. Yeah. All right, on our way. There's a view. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's a it's like an eagle or hawk or something flying around. Oh, it's nice and cool that wind. 